Cumberbatch. And I've been nominated to take the Ice Bucket Challenge by Tom Hiddleston. Now, it's in order to raise awareness for ALS, which is a form of motor neuron disease, which has a devastating effect on people's lives. So please text and donate generously. Bring the bucket. I was diagnosed with ALS in uh, May 2011, almost uh, six years uh, ago. When the doctor told me, I could see uh, on his face that this was bad. Uh, but I asked him, okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to do nothing. Well, I was diagnosed uh, already now six and a half years ago in June 2010. And then I met, uh, after one year, I met Robert Jan. And uh, that's uh, basically uh, when we started our entrepreneurial journey uh, to solve ALS. Because of the Ice Bucket Challenge, many countries were inspired to come with the global effort of Project Mind and also the finances that were raised during the Ice Bucket Challenge were spent on, uh, partly on Project Mind itself. Project Mind is a unique project where investigators around the world truly collaborate, share their data, exchange expertise and have a common goal in getting to know, you know the cause of this disease or the causes of this disease and also unique collaboration with funding agencies in order to get the global funding awareness in order to get the sequencing that needed for a project. You know, the advancements in technology really allowed us to have this robust, global, um, unbiased view of genetics and also environmental influences. And, and if we combine those, we, we can hopefully you know, accelerate this research even further. And now we have the position of um, epigenetic methods, you know, like for example, like, like epigenetic chips. That's where we get the combination of methylation, we get GWAS chips, and we get whole genome sequencing. So recently we um, uh, performed multiple lines of research and, and, and those converged on one gene, it was NAC1. The project is ongoing. Uh, we started in, off in the Netherlands and uh, we already have a lot of data. But this data is now uh, more explored in the beginning to find new genes. And if we slow down the disease progression and have a current outlook from now three to five years to live, to five to ten years to live, or maybe ten to fifteen years to live, it will be already a huge impact. Project Mind gives us the tools to develop therapy. And that's important for everyone now suffering from ALS. Mm -hmm.